hello guys welcome to this channel today we are going to prepare plain akidi like this channel subscribe to it thumbs up share with friends and families turn to the notification bell to know when we upload another video thank you preparing the akidi you are using cornstarch here is my already prepared corn starch from corn. And there are so many methods of uh, preparing akidi. You may prepare it as akidi jellof or plain akidi or akidi with coconut. But here I'm going to prepare plain akidi and I will use. Uh, pepper soup to eat it or you can equally use stew to eat it so watch as i'm going to prepare it so i'll pour the cornstarch into my plate Then I'll use clean water to mix it. I'll mix it very well so that there will be no lumps in it. After mixing it very well, you can see there is no lump in it. So I'll add a little salt to it. Then I'll turn it. Then I will boil water. I'll boil water in my kettle. Then when the water is blowing, I'll mix it to the pap. As my water is boiling, I'll remove it then pour into the pap. has turned into pap so I'll put it on fire then allow it to cook for some time I'll place it on fire like that then I'll allow it to cook until it is drying continue turning it If your kidney is very thick, add a little water to it again. After 10 to 15 minutes, you turn your kidney and you notice that it's drying. That means that the okidi is ready now. So the next thing is to bring it down from the fire, then pack it into okidi leaf or any packaging that you want to use could be leather or plates 
to pack your kiri and allow it to cold before you eat it. So I'll bring the akiri down now. It's ready. Here I'm going to use leather to pack it. So I'll place my leather. It's very hot, so I will carefully tie it. Your kiddie is ready. Allow it to cool before eating it. You can take it with pepper soup or with stew. Thank you for watching this channel.